Hi guys, it's me, Stephanie. Um, today I want to talk about cabin fever because I've only been in the house, let's see, I was discharged on Thursday and so I've been home the rest of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today's Sunday. So really two full days and if today will be three full days. And I am losing my mind. It's not so much that I want to be back at work. It's so much that you can't leave the house. Especially since there's snow on the ground. You don't want to slip and fall. So I'm just like, I, I need to get out of here. Today I actually went with my friends to the airport to pick up her boyfriend. Um, it was great being out of the house and it kind of suppressed the cabin fever a little bit. Um, walking down the stairs was not too bad. Um sitting in the car the ride wasn't too bad but I feel like you know you kind of feel when your body has reached that peak where it's too much because afterwards when I came back I went over her house for a little bit and I came home about a half hour ago and even though I was just sitting down the whole time I feel tired I feel exhausted I feel like I need a nap you know your body any type of surgery um your body needs to recover but especially with this surgery um, I feel like I, I need to nap right now. I'm in my bed under the covers because I'm about to change into my pajamas and lay my head down and take about an hour nap. It's only 7.30, so. Another thing I want to talk about is sleeping. I can't sleep at night, like straight through the night, and that drives me absolutely crazy. For people who are used to sleeping on their sides, more power to you, but I'm a stomach sleeper, and I can't sleep on my stomach because one, it's a little painful, and two, I'm paranoid. You know, you read all these things about the sleeve, and you know, the first two weeks are critical. You don't eat anything too thick. You don't, you don't eat solids because, you know, your stitches can burst, and it can be fatal, and I really am paranoid, like, am I sleeping on my stomach? Will the pressure, or the weight from my, you know, laying on my stomach hurt anything internal? So that's another thing that I am paranoid about. So I'm sleeping on my side. And it gets a little bit uncomfortable because let's be real, I'm not exactly in Wonderland yet. So, um, you know, it's a little uncomfortable, all that weight, you know, laying on your side for eight hours or however long you sleep. So I find myself last night, 1 o'clock, look at the time, 2 o'clock, look at the time, 3 o'clock, like, I, I couldn't get a good night's rest at all. So maybe that's another reason why I'm so tired right now. Also, um, the drinking. I would say it takes about, excuse me, I'm salivating now. I would say it takes about two hours. It really depends on what I am drinking. Um, this size bottle of water, see that little Nestle light, it's eight ounces. So this is actually uh, eight ounces of fluid, one cup equal to one cup of fluid. Um, and they recommend six to eight ounces, excuse me, six to eight cups of fluid Per day they don't say how it whether it's in a protein shake whether it's in water form or uh, propel or whether it's um, broth or six to eight cups of fluid per day so I've been drinking this from early uh, it, it's taken a while <laughs> you know I've had other stuff in between but for the muscle milk that I had showed the other day, the muscle milk genuine, that's 11 ounces. And to drink one of those, that this morning I had that. And um, I took the medication that I'm supposed to take. And then I have to wait a half hour. So already the few sips of water that I had to take with my medication, um, I don't want anything. And then I'm trying to drink this 11 ounces of protein shake and it took three hours. You know, just sipping it. I think I'm just tired of the flavor. Somebody had mentioned one time on YouTube that things you may like pre-surgery, you may not like after surgery. And even though I still like the taste of the muscle milk, I can't really tolerate it. Like, I drink it and it feels like sludge in my mouth after a few sips. But I know that you have to get in that protein. I know that they say it's very important for muscle growth, 
for you know so you don't lose muscle so you don't lose your hair even though you, you probably will shed the more protein in your diet the better your chances are to keep your hair um for uh um incision um wound healing i i know that the protein helps also so i really try to drink that they say about one cup eight ounces but it's 11 ounces i drank the whole thing um they recommend three protein shakes a day and that's about three cups but i figure the two 11 ounces is about 22 and that's all i could have choked down like i'm um two ounces short of three cups plus those uh muscle milk genuine has for uh, 20 grams of protein each, so that's 40 grams, which is what they really recommend for the first two weeks, about 25 to 30 to, to 40 grams of protein within the first two weeks. And then the third and fourth week, they recommend about 40 to 50. And then the when you, like the three-month mark, they recommend like 75 grams of protein, but that's you're getting with other things that you are eating, you know, solid food. So uh, I'll get to that point when I get to it. So I drank two of them. That was 40 grams of protein. I'm, I'm done with that. I drank this much water, which is not, it's about up to here. But I had another bottle, like double this. I had a big bottle and I drank about half of that. So, and I just drank some tomato soup, regular um, Progresso, tomato basil soup. I had to dilute it a little bit with some broth, some chicken broth. It actually made the flavor better. So I just... I'm really paranoid about things being a little too thick. Even though it wasn't that bad, I just poured a little chicken broth in there and mixed it up so it could be like really thin tomato soup. And it wasn't so bad. I, I actually liked it. So I'm going to finish this water and that's it. That's that's all for the day. I'm, I can't drink anything else. I'm, I don't want to drink anything else. So, so um... Basically, I am doing okay, but the gas, I think it's gas, because every so often, it'll be like somebody is squeezing the hell out of my chest cavity. So, um, I know it's not like the tightening that they give you medication for, like the spasms. It's definitely not a spasm. Um it's it's gas and it only happens at certain times especially when i'm talking a lot um i noticed that i guess it's the trapped air that'll start acting up so that is a pain in the ass it's 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 a pain because it hurts and even though it only hurts for like 20 30 seconds it is a hard 20 30 seconds it really hurts so that's what i'm dealing with now also, comment down below because, I mean, does this surgery make you emotional? Is it the meds I'm taking? I had to call WageWorks the other day because, once again, they are messing me up. And after I was on the phone, I just hung up the phone and burst into tears. I am not a crier. And for me to burst into tears for something she said to me, I was like, what the hell? And then when nobody came and visited me at home, like my sister, my little sister was like, oh, I have stuff to do. I, I didn't cry, but I was I was upset. And, you know, it's like I, I feel like an emotional mess. And I don't know if it's just being, you know, in bed and knowing that you have to rely on people to do certain things for you and you just feel helpless. I don't know what it is, but I am emotional. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm really not trying to concentrate on um, the weight, but I did, I don't have a scale, but I do have a Wii Fit, and I know the balance beam, it can be a scale, but it needed batteries. I bought batteries today when I was out. So I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow. I don't want to be like one of those people that like every few days I'm weighing myself like, did, did, did something happen? Did it change? Did it change? But I am curious to see what I am now. Um... Looking in the mirror, I don't notice a difference, but I don't think I will notice a difference because it's really, it hasn't even been a week since the surgery. I'm still swollen. I'm still pumped up with air and gas. So, you know, I'm not going to stress out for that. But I did want to talk about cravings because even though I'm not like, I, I, I want to order some food or something like that, I have cravings today, like big ones, like I could eat a cheeseburger type thing, or I could eat, my mother made um, sweet and sour shrimp, I, 
uh, my sister told me and I smelled like some cooking like you know we have vents that sit low on the floor so sometimes you do smell what you know downstairs is cooking and I'm like that smells really good you know and it's not so much that I wanted to say eat some shrimp because to be honest I don't even think I could choke one of them down even if there was no danger of popping a stitch or anything like that I don't I think I would hurl but I kind of want the flavor I think because I'm just tired of broth and tomato soup and water and protein flavor in my mouth no matter how good the protein shakes are you get tired of them you 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 look forward to other things I tell you I cannot wait till week three and four when I'm in mushy foods I'm gonna rock the hell out of some mushy foods I already have some recipes. I'm going to make homemade applesauce, you know, oatmeal, things like that, deviled egg salad. I'm going to make tuna salad. You know, I know you can't add crunchy vegetables into it like onions and, and um, celery and things like that, but I'm going to rock whatever I can have, you know, because I am tired. I'm, basically, it's, it's three weeks on liquid, and even though right now, like I said, I'm not starving, I am... I'm craving other things. I'm just I'm just tired of liquid. So I am looking forward to that. Um Yeah, so that's about it. I would really appreciate if anybody else has recently or even if it's not recently, it could be a year or five years ago, um, gone through this, comment down below and let me know do you experience the mood swings? Because sometimes I'm happy and sometimes I'm like de not depressed. I don't want to use depressed, but like just upset did you go through the cabin fever thing did you did you go through the cravings and how did you deal with them because like I said right now I really want like something like a nice freaking Big Mac or a nice something and I know I can't eat it and I know that a, probably a bite and I'd be like you know I'm disgusted but just the flavor of it um how did you deal with these cravings or am I like you know a little freakazoid where I shouldn't be having cravings, but I am, you know, like I, I get paranoid that like, did my surgery work? Is it successful? Uh, should I be having cravings? You know, so comment down below and share your stories. And I really look forward to reading them and thumbs up this video if you liked it and also subscribe. I hope to see you guys soon and read all your comments and I will definitely answer back. Um, and like I said, you know, just share your stories, your thoughts, ideas, opinions, whatever. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.